All right, so a while ago I did a big Kickstarter fundraiser, and thanks to guys like you, I was able to raise $4,000 to fund the creation of a new website all about Canada. And this week, almost a year later, I finally got it done. So let me tell you about it. It's called The Canada Guide. It tells you everything you need to know about the true north, strong and free. Which is a line from the Canadian National Anthem, which you can learn about in the Canadian Emblems chapter. The site has over 60 chapters in all, split into seven broad sections. Basics. History, places, symbols, government, culture, and data. Did you know Canadian passports come in four different colors? That's in basics. Do you know who she is? That's in history. Want to know why all Canadians are required to memorize the poem in Flanders Fields? That's in symbols. Which members of the Canadian judicial branch dress like Santa Claus? That's in government. How many Canadians died defending English South Africa from the hated Dutch? That's in data. Every chapter consists of an essay full of high quality photographs and graphics describing one specific aspect of Canada in thorough but still easy to read detail. So there's a chapter on everything from 19th century Canadian history to how the Canadian military works to stereotypical Canadian foods to the country's relationship with the British monarchy to fun tourist attractions in all the big cities to a list of the Canadian medal counts in all the past Olympic games to why Canadians sometimes seem like such America haters. There is also, and this is one thing I am particularly proud of, a little interactive map that lets you see how the different provinces of Canada voted in past Canadian elections. This probably won't be that interesting to you unless you're a big Canadian political geek, but it's still information you won't find anywhere else. I have spent over a year working on this. In fact, it's actually a project I have been working on in some form or another since high school. It is the culmination of pretty much everything I've ever learned in my entire life about the country where I live. So it is pretty special to me. I do think that one of the problems with the internet these days is that there are just not enough high quality non-fiction informational websites out there. If you want to learn something about something online, you either visit Wikipedia, which I personally think is a pretty garbage website, or some media thing who usually offer pretty superficial coverage and of course their articles get dated quite quickly. And I get why that is. Making a guide to a complex topic that's really in depth and detailed and user friendly takes a lot of time and usually costs a lot of money as well. But I was lucky enough to have all of the above and so for you I have made the Canada Guide. I hope you have fun exploring.